Hello everyone, and welcome back to Naismith Gaming. Today, we are returning to Real Mist to go through the Age of Rhyme. I don't really have a question for you today, but I do have some reflections. The first, the journal. Rhyme, I have named it. A desolate age with a beauty that is quite different than I had expected or imagined. The intricate feathers of ice that fall from the sky are awe-inspiring. I feel as though I could sit and watch them for hours. And though it is cold here, like I have never imagined before, I find myself enjoying the change of temperature, for it is unlike any other place I have ever seen. Perhaps the oddest thing is the silence. Although the wind blows on occasion, when it, cre when it ceases, there is a suffocating silence that falls on this place, broken only by the distant cries of unseen creatures. I have visited three times, and am sure now that this age will provide the environment I need. I believe the cold temperature is necessary for obtaining the correct resonance. Examining the structure of the books is ever more perplexing, but I am driven onward by my need to understand. The great tree of possibilities can never be fully grasped. I must at least try to find one particular branch. On the subject of enlightenment, I would also like to find the cause of the mysterious lights that shine in the darkness here. I have... I never assumed that I would be able to build especially fast here. The speed at which I am progressing is somewhat disappointing. I do think I will bring Sirius and Akinar as well as some of the machinery from the Selenitic. Akinar chose to stay with Catherine, but Sirius was rather excited to come. He spent the last few days here with me, helping me with the beginning phases of construction. He too seems to enjoy the ice and cold weather. He's intrigued with the crystals that we have brought with us. He has been a big help, as have others and I hope to be able to begin my experiments here soon. Tonight, Cyrus and I found a won wondrous spot to view the lights, although it seems they decided to hide from us. After sitting in the cold winds for over two hours, we saw nothing. It was rather disappointing. Cyrus will return to mist tomorrow. He has been a tremendous aid to me, and I am thankful for his willingness to help. The hard part of the construction is over, but I have decided after tonight that I would like to add some kind of observation post. I won't be finished as soon as I had hoped, although I'm pretty certain it will be worth the delay in the long run. I've decided to take a break from the construction, now that the tunnel is almost complete, and I've been able to set up a temporary space where the crystals will not be stimulated. I'm quite convinced that with the right diffraction resonance, certain properties of the ink can be simulated. Catherine still finds it absurd that he thinks I'm crazy to assume I'll be able to view ages with stones, but our usual pessimism has not convinced me to stop trying. I came too close to success on Everdunes. I am fairly certain now that temperature indeed does have an effect on the crystals, but I have realized that temperature alone is not enough. The cold dampens some of the sympathetic harmonics, but a more active suppressor is necessary. I have acquired some geodes with a pure protected crystalline interior. Thin slices of the geodes below each crystal provide a, provide a stabilizing effect, and even amplify the clean frequency slightly. After quite a bit of experimentation with the shapes and colors, I was able to capture a blurry image within a book. The link would never work. There's clearly an age on the other side. I can hardly wait to return and tell Catherine. I feel like I should finish the shaft to my observation post while I have the machinery here. Perhaps tomorrow morning. The flights were beautiful again last night. They had not shown themselves for so long that I had almost forgotten their beauty. I still must find the cause. I'm finding... I'm feeling rather overwhelmed with what remains to be done. Crystals have not been perfected. The shaft is not finished, nor is the observation post or even lab. I have not seen Catherine for some time, and I long to spend more time with Akinar and Cirrus. Besides all of that, there are far away, in the back of my mind, the thoughts of my people and our lost city. I dreamt again of them last night. I've only seen the city in its worst condition, and still, its beauty overwhelms me. Even now, as I visualize how majestic it must have been before the destruction caused by Veovis and... Agaris amazes me and saddens me. I'm fairly certain that Dani is not dead, as my father believed. I am convinced that there must be some who may manage to escape the destruction, and even now continue to survive in separate ages. Within me is an urging to take the chance to return to Dani and find these survivors and properly rebuild our city. However, I can do nothing until I'm certain of the fate of my father. If my plan failed, if I missed a single book when attempting to trap him on Riven, then he has been free all along. If that is true, then all that stands between him and the ages I have now written is the link from Donny to Mist. As much as I have 
as I wish to return to Donnie, without knowing the state of my father, I cannot risk reestablishing that link. I must observe my father without reestablishing that link. It has taken several years, and there have been many dead ends, but I have partially succeeded. Now that I have managed to view another age using the crystals, it's only a matter of time until I, yeah, until I view Riven. At least I hope. And Catherine has will have her ideas about all these things, and I miss her greatly. I will return to Rhyme later when my mind has cleared. Okay, so back option forty will show me. I want two seven three five. Okay, let's investigate. In the matter of reflections, Cirrus and Akinar, just two people, given a bit of freedom and a bit of power over others, ruined a multitude of worlds, and we only got to see four of those. They were in a state of destruction. They weren't truly destroyed, not quite yet. There were, still, there were no people in there, but the world still existed. Activate first, and go to the other side. Oh. Okay, the rocket. Second one. Atrus seems like a good person, but it looks like the entire rest of his family, except Catherine, are, um, not very good people. Among other things, we have seen what, uh, Cyrus and Akinar have done. And considering what he speaks of regarding his father and being free, I'm not sure that he can count either. I'm not sure that he'll be a... he's a... It should be this one. <clears throat> There's something wrong here. Press the back button. Oh, that was a rotation switch, wasn't it? They're beautiful worlds. It's a pity what happened to all of these ages.
For that matter, where's Catherine? We left her a note and a message. Except, uh... We haven't seen her or had a hint of her other than his message. about to... Ah! Okay, it's snowing. And some short walkways, like on Mechanical. All of stage are in disrepair. Let's just assume that everything needs to be swapped. Ah, the mist look back. here. Nothing of note. create its uh, auroras. Ah! I'm impressed that he can modulate the color. Let's go for a, full, for a black aurora and see if that does it. Do anything? I can't see. So it's red. I'm not sure what this does other than create the aurora. Journal. I'm not going to read a second journal in a single session. That basically amounts to uh, how serious the Akhtar react to the age. Okay, got recording that. Uh, That pattern of four.
I'm facing the reverse direction. Or, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am facing another direction now. <clears throat> and it would appear that I did not need to report that, because there is, in fact, a different pattern. What do I see? I think yellow is correct. Purple is correct. Red is correct. Green should be correct. Oh, green is not correct.
was correct. Ah, I just hit the wrong color. And so we see Atrus's plan to look at Riven. One person is Atris. Seems to actually keep a close eye on things. I'm sure he's a good guy, but it should not be possible for mistakes that small to result in so so huge of destruction as we have seen through the first three ages. Other than Selenite, of course. That's it, everyone. We're now done with Real Mist.